Hello, my name is Danielle. I'm a community organizer at the Cyclodge group. Cyclodge is a group of uh, closure developers who are building a stack of tools and libraries for data science and a community around this stack, a community where people can study and practice and help each other. I uh, am acting as a community organizer and also receiving some support for that, mostly, but not only from uh, New Bank and Closure is Together. And I'm very grateful for the many people I can collaborate with. This video is a short update about some of our community activities at Cyclodge. The, the starting point of, of this short discussion is that we may have a problem. But the problem is that, as far as I understand, the current global economic atmosphere it might be less friendly to smaller technologies such as closure. And people tend to pick up technologies which are more mainstream and are perceived as less risky. And of course, uh, for us uh, closure practitioners, we have this hope that closure will keep growing and we might do something a bit differently. And that is what we are going to discuss in this brief discussion, which is, I think, an optimistic one. And in a moment, we may see why. And the, the starting uh, assumption is that I think for quite a few of us closure practitioners, there is possibly something special. They're not just people who happen to use a certain technology. We have this relationship with it. I think, as far as I hear from friends in the community, quite a few of us have been on a search for something, some way to keep going with our tech jobs, with whatever work we do, but in a way which is simpler and joyful and uh, well, there is some harmony around it. And for quite a few of us, I think we may have found something, which is closure, our typical choice of technology. And what we tend to see around in the community is that people tend to have this emotional relationship with this piece of technology. And this will to continue and help things grow well. And I think we can build upon this emotional relationship. We could do more. Of course, a lot of what has been going on in the open source community in the last 15 years is very much related to the way people can relate to this language. But I'm proposing we explore whether we could do more and allow people to become helpful in helping their language grow. And uh, for us at the Cyclodge group, uh, we, we have had this experience for almost six years of open source collaboration. and also of community building, running study groups, helping each other, welcoming beginners and so on. That is something we have been doing, but possibly we could have done better. And recently um, we, we have tried some you know, going through some changes. And quite a few of us have been busy with that, with trying to rethink uh, open source collaboration. And we were asking, were there possibly more people who were willing to get involved? 
And we have been having those signals for many people who wish to be involved. Just be helpful, just help the language grow. And then there is a question, how many are there? Oh, how many are they and where are they? Are we really reaching out? Are we really making it welcoming for those many people out there? And, and then we have begun our uh, open source mentorship program about, I think, 70 days ago or something like that, 80 days ago. And, and this program is kind of a new way to reach out for people and also to support them in their path in becoming open source contributors. And uh, right, so, so it is about uh, supporting newcomers, but it is also about offering a sense of direction, which is something that arguably for many of us in open source work is so important, you know, just clarifying whether they're going in a decent direction. And to be honest, for us as a group, that has been essential, you know, in actually validating each other, supporting each other in our thoughts and, and questions. And that is something that we are offering to any closure person who wishes to get involved. And what we do is, you know, diverse, projects uh, at Cyclos, which are arg arguably relevant to the broader closure community in terms of the use of them, not just data science, but you know, high performance computing, data processing, data visualization, tooling, documentation and testing, and also math and statistics and machine learning and so on, and scientific computing. and. Uh, there are many projects which are actually offering a welcoming beginning for a closure person who wishes to get involved. And then, you know, we were reaching out and we were kind of surprised. There was actually a big surprise by the many people who have responded. And eventually, so far, 57 people have uh, applied. And we have met all of them. And every person I have met, you know, is such a wonderful person. Actually, very experienced closure people actually wish to get involved in this uh, joint effort to grow an ecosystem together. And of course, some of them do have to drop out, not because of anything bad about their intentions, just because some people may find themselves for now busy with other uh, aspects of life. And at the moment, uh, 33 are still quite active, active, and maybe more of them will come back. And, and uh, out of these 33, uh, uh, 13 people have actually uh, contributed, which means they have created something meaningful and useful in the current emerging stack of the Cyclodge tools and libraries. And so this may give you an idea of, of the potential. And these are just numbers, but behind them, there are such amazing people we haven't even met in the past. And the current sentiment, the current guess is that there are many more helpful, wise, kind people who actually wish to get involved and help. Maybe not in Cyclodge, may, maybe in you know other parts of the closure ecosystem. And we should help that happen. And yes, as we began, we will argue again, there is something special something special about this community and the way people are passionate about their relationship with their language and the helpfulness and kindness and wisdom that we find 
seems like it is just the beginning. Just, you know, at this point in time, we happen to be able, we have, you know, happen to be able to meet those 57 people, but it seems that like there are so many more. And also, it seems like we could do better. We could do better in, in support, in coordination, and in communication. And, and we see that uh, all the time. We are learning from this new transformative scene which is getting, which is emerging here. We see that we can do better. You know, what happens when somebody is finding themselves stuck? Are we actually there for them to help? And when somebody needs to leave for a few weeks for some, you know, family trouble or just something in life which is demanding their attention, will we be there for them to come back? That is what we are learning to do and we're seeing the value of that. We see people who need to leave and come back and do wonderful stuff again. And that is, you know, all about, all about creating sustainable community communities let us say right and and i think uh, that is something where more wisdom more careful thought and experience will help and yes of course we at cyclage are putting lots of our attention into this project but i believe that there are many more closure people out there who could actually be part of this effort which is Essentially, not just about cyclage, it is about creating a community that is doing well, that is growing healthily and supporting its members and, you know, allowing its members to actually become part of it. We can do that. And this may allow us to go through this strange period of time, this strange period where, you know, smaller, smaller technologies are um, uh, less favorable by, you know, the mainstream. We may be able to do so much better in getting ready for better times and growing again. So that was this little update. And uh, I mostly hope you will reach out we need to communicate on that. We need to. And you know, if you are a curious Clojurian who is wondering whether this applies to you, whether you could become helpful or just use our resources to learn and help yourself, then we should talk. If we are not talking, we should talk. If you are a company who may have anything to do with what we are doing and we are not talking yet, then we should talk. That is essential. Communication will help us make things grow well. And, and my estimate, you know, just based on the recent intense experiences meeting so many people, my estimate is that we haven't even begun fulfilling this potential. Maybe, you know, it could be like 16 times better in terms of what, of the ways people can get involved and support each other and act together in a coordinated way. It is just the beginning of something that could be actually much better. So we are looking out to learn and we are looking to talk with you, anybody who may wish to uh, be involved in helping that happen. So. Yeah, thanks for listening and see you hopefully in the next times, next updates. Goodbye for now.